Hey, welcome back everyone, Devilink05 here, bienvenidos a mi canal. For a new game review, here are my thoughts and mechanics of what is a Thor's Arun's Afterlife Adventure and what does it offer. Your main character is a kid named Arun after his father and other townspeople passed away. Mysteriously, a Shinigami god appeared before him and gives him two bells and a picture of two characters. Arun decides to look for them. He does find them and gives them the two bells to one of the strangers. You can see on his back he already has three sets of bells. That means other people have visited them. They set sail and stop somewhere at the sea and the kid just jumps in the water and wakes up in purgatory. And our adventure actually starts there. Graphics are very unique and simple. It's like opening a book to see a pop-up landscape or characters. It does give it like a cartoon look, but it's not that childless like Paper Mario. As you wander around, you will find a frog named Duke Rock who will follow you on your adventure. Think of him as Navi from Legend of Zelda, but it's not a fairy, it's a frog. And he does stuff and it's less annoying and he can transform to a bigger frog to move blocks, help you in the water, also reach higher platforms and can break walls. Weapons in the game that are very useful are Kama, Katana, Bow, and Umbrella. There are other weapons, but they are very slow to attack and will have other uses. Your, your first weapon is a ninja weapon called Kama. Each weapon has a 3 hit combo and also a special skill. But the Kama is the only one you can use to harvest fugitive souls. You also have 3 bottles to recover 20% of your life bar. These will fill back again when you hit a save point or continue. There won't be HP bottles as you explore. As you search for clues where is Arun father, Soul, you will encounter many unique characters that I did enjoy, wish they had some sounds or voices. You can see the imagination process it went to creating these. And they will sometimes give you a clue where to go next in a, in a new skill like the air dodge, the double jump, wall climb and they have their place in purgatory what they manage or do there. As for items they can be purchased by a seller is this little guy with anklers. He can only be found in the dead tavern. The items he has will increase your HP bar and your sin bar for weapon skills and increase potion recoveries. And last is the root of oblivion. This will reset all your perks in case you may have messed up and decided to go with another build each purchase will increase in cost for the next upgrade. As for skills, they, they are called perks. These can be unlocked with special coins. These can be like have longer dodge, deal more damage, or have more defense, get more money drop. Yet there are hidden perks not shown till you find them. They will be added once you find them. Each one will cost one or two or three or four special coins to unlock. As a tip, I would focus on getting the increased defense and damage first. You will need total around 13 coins to get both of these, the attack and defense perks. But it's worth it to make fast use of enemies and take less damage because with the special coins to open perks, you can search and find them in, in these objects hidden all around. It will reward you with one special coin. Or you can talk to the souls guy, is this shadow guy, he will give you a container to trap four souls and bring them to him. They are hidden pretty well, sometimes they, they won't do nothing to you, just use your comma to special skill to capture them. When you have captured four total souls, the souls guy will reward you with two special coins and 100 normal coins. The small problem is when that container reaches four souls, you must bring it back to him for your reward and for him to empty the container. If you don't, you won't be able to trap more souls until you empty the container. As you enter new areas, there is a character called Jukro. He runs a portable map store. Find him on every new area you visit and buy his map. He is hidden well. They will help you a lot because they can also reveal secret items hidden and special coins and the future dissolves hidden in that area. As for bosses are, well, I would say normal challenge, then medium challenge, and then difficulty challenge. <laughs> They're tricky sometimes. After the third boss, you'll start to notice this is, this is in normal settings. 
they don't follow a pattern. Unlike other game bosses, you see the first attack, then the second, then the third, then the fourth, and then back to the first attack. You won't see that here sometimes, because they like to mix their attacks or repeat one. The challenge part is when they have lost half their life bar, they will scream and add a new move and extra moves to their normal attacks. They will catch you by surprise. Each one has its own style. Some are hand-to-hand -hand combat, others are mid-range, others are long range, or a mix of both. And some of them hit like 85% of the area. As a pro tip, this boss you're seeing right now, make sure you have the attack and defense perks unlocked before you enter the ice mountains. This boss here will test your dodge skills and does really good damage to your character. There are hidden bosses also that don't follow the storyline. Try to find them. They will reward you with a flower. You get the first flower with the first boss. They will appear with a red square on your map. The game will take you around 6 to 9 hours to complete on your first run. If you're trying for a 90% completion or 100%. Overall, the final score for 8 doors is... Eight Doors has a lot of content to offer. Great story, unique characters. It's 40% Metrovania because all the hidden stuff you have to backtrack and explore, returning to old areas with new skills to reach them. It is also 40% 40, 40 hack and slash and 20% jump platform. Overall, I would recommend Eight Doors for any fan of Metrovania and also Zelda like fans. This game rocks and it's very unique and it will keep you entertained for around like i mentioned six to nine hours on your first run this is devilink 05 signing out hope to see you guys in the next game review congratulations